Good evening, people. This is Christian. It's Saturday evening, and I'm playing on Fusion for 60 and drinking some beverages, maybe. Uh, and we will do my latest challenge, which was this part here, hexagon toy. Uh, in this case, I have a, a basic model with 10 parts, so we can have a look at measure. Let's measure from one point. We are supposed to do, let's say, that we are drawing. I want the dimension from the inner edge here to the outer edge here. Sometimes it can be a bit hard with the measure tool to find the edges. What I prefer to do, find a point on the edge. And uh, I'm going to have, normally when we do this, you get this uh, straight dimension, which is going to be a 3D dimension, but you have X, Y, Z, Delta. You just click that one, and you find the red number here, which is the Delta in X versus 19.7315, and that's the dimension with 10 bodies. And we'll have a look at... Uh, change the uh, quantity of bodies later when I do the full model. I'm going to use a slightly longer workflow here. It's possible to shrink this down uh, quite much uh, with a slightly different workflow, but I have some problems with workflow. It sometimes fail when you change uh, the uh, quantity of bodies really uh, high and low and jump back to four and sometimes crashes. This workflow is, I can't say bulletproof, but close. It can handle a lot of changing of bodies. And it's quite intuitive, intuitive to go back and have a look at, so you know what you have done. Because there's a problem with uh, creating bodies like this. There are some other ways. This is why I like to do it. Uh, you cannot do patterns and then do new features on pattern bodies. It, it, it will fail sometimes. The reason is because a lot of tools like combine or do cuts and intersects are based on the name of a body. If you introduce new bodies, Fusion will not find them and will not do the new features on new bodies. And the other way around, if you remove, this, remove bodies, Fusion get a bit angry at you and start throwing arrows at you. So let's do. Let's start doing. I think that's all I want to tell about this. Uh, let's start a new design. Step one, save the file. I will not save it now. I'm only here to show you the workflow. Not like this, so we have a drawing here. And I will now use use your parameters. It's up to you. You can tick in the numbers as you go on. There's one small equation that you will need to use parameters first. You can do it here in user parameters, or you can do it in uh, while hated in the dimensions. We're going to start with yeah, simply inner hex. Let's take all the mesh you have. That's going to be 10. Like that. And we're going to have... Uh, let me just do that uh, body. Oops. Thickness. I'm having also about the thickness down here. That is 1.2. We have a small gap between the bodies. Gap that is 0 0.6. We have a height of a body that is 10 millimeters, and we have a small angle out here. Angle is a small tip. It's not, of course, you don't measure the angle in millimeters. You measure it in degrees. You can hit here, or you can tab down and try to hit the D key, and normally it finds degrees, or you want to use some other Type in the first letters. Sometimes you are lucky and it pops up the correct one directly. You don't need to do the roll, scroll down and search for the number or for the unit type. And the angle was 130 degrees. Uh, can you please be in the right window? Sorry. Like that. Do we have all the dimensions you want? Yes, we have. But I will do one more dimension. Uh, this is my. Uh, lazy I can do this in a dimension inside the sketch but yeah uh, can put it here too uh, base body this is the body that's gonna glue things together I will do this as an offset in my drawing uh, in the sketch I mean not the drawing sorry and uh, the thought of this is that I will make a body below everything here so that should be all the body's thickness here and plus the gaps and I'll just do it uh, there are 10 bodies and 9 gaps Let, let's do all of them so Oh, I forgot one. I need to have that first. Of course, we need quantity of bodies. And that's going to be a no unit. Let's do that 10, because that's the first one. Sorry, I forgot that one. Now we can do the calculation one. Uh, base body offset. And that's going to be our quantity of bodies multiplied by the thickness plus the gap. 
and that gives us the offset we need. And I'm going to do that into a favorite because we're going to change that later, expand the window slightly. So I will have all our dimensions. So let's start modeling. First sketch from the top, we're going to create a polygon. It's going to have six sides, let's put it like that, constrain it horizontally. We're going to dimension this dimension here. That's going to be inner hex like that. We create an offset from this hexagon outwards. That's correct direction. And we also created a parameter for offset like that. You can hit OK. And now the thing is, I do not want to extrude the whole body. I would just work on one sixth of the body because it's a hexagon. So we're going to make two lines, one from here to here, from here to here. We'll make one more line. Uh, this is like a small helping line. Going to escape and move this dimension slightly out of the way. Yeah, we can put this somewhere else, like there. Uh, I'll make one more line from the center here. We make the construction line. I make it straight over to here. I will use this later for the direction of the pattern. I sometimes do that to remember my, to remind myself where I want the pattern to go. And uh, we have a lot of unnecessary profile unnecessary profiles. We're gonna do from right to left, mark all of these and turn them in good construction. But only left with the profile I want. I'm gonna finish sketch. And let's go back to our home view. And we might as well just extrude now. E for extrude, that one just minus one millimeter or any arbitrary dimensions as long as you remember what it is. We're gonna use it later. Gonna do a second sketch from the front here. We will project in the only thing we're interested in this point here to do a look at. Open up things. We can hide our first sketch. We can hide our body. Line, construction line here straight up. That's going to be our high. Oops. I can't spell. Or more for frankly, I can't see my keyboard. Uh, high like that. Move that out of the way. We're going to do a line from here. Oops, no longer construction line. Up to here to here. And I missed, if you miss something, use coincident constraint. Let's lock it in. Like that. I'm gonna make a line straight out. And let's do basically the rest of the body. Help with constraints, start horizontally. We're gonna use parallel because these are also parallel. We're gonna make these two lines equal. We might dimension this. It's working here. This is going to be the thickness, so the body thickness, like that. And the only thing we have left is to lock in these. And we can make them equal like that. And we dimension this angle here. And that was our angle, like that. And we have a fully defined sketch. Thank you, Fusion. Finish sketch. And let's open up our body again. Go back to our home view. So what we'll do now, we do an extrude. And very important how we're going to change this to join immediately. This is because we'll use a pattern on features later and we want all the next pattern we're doing to also join with this body we'll have at the bottom here. And we're going to do is two, two sides. We can do half of it, but yeah, let's do all of it. So we're going to start with this side, distance to object. Make sure I select the face here. On the hexagon, not the top, not the bottom, this face here. You see fusion nicely. Pull it out there. The one, two object, and select this face here. By this, we get a nice extrude. We don't need to do any trimming or splitting bodies or anything. We hit OK. And we open up our first sketch, hide our second sketch, but we see this line here. And we're going to do an S for, oh, sorry, hit the wrong key. S and rectangular pattern. We're going to do this on features, the last extrude feature we did. Immediately set the distance type to spacing and the direction is going to be this line here and how far uh, quantity we can input immediately that's quantity of bodies and the distance is going to be our thickness and plus our gap like that hit OK uh, oh sorry not hit OK check compute option adjust this means is we'll remake all these uh, extrude here and then extrude them out. You can also see it has marked this face here, so we know it's going to pull it out my way out. But by doing that, it repeats the same thing and it re re basically reduce, ex redu redu extrude and hit this face here. A cyber sketch for now. So we got this part here. Now we're going to do a circular pattern. 
and we need to do it on bodies because it doesn't work on features always here so we're going to do bodies like this here and of course we need six of them because it's a hexagon hit ok we're going to mark all of them we're going to combine it and it's a join you can select one body with or do a uh, window select i did and then hit combine it knows you want to combine everything operation is join do not keep tools but you're back to one body but now we need to split up our body so we're going to remove the bottom here if extrude this here and it's still again of a wrong direction let's go minus one and it's going to operation but it could be cut object to cut that's only one body so it works nicely and now suddenly we have 10 bodies again so by doing this we have now a parametric model so let's check it out where well, this is the 10 body model and we wanted to know, I want to know, what is the dimension for W if there are seven bodies? Modify, change, pro uh, change parameters, quantity of bodies, we change it to seven, hit enter. And the model updates with no errors. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bodies. Let's check the distance, measure from uh, this point to this outer point, like we did earlier. And the X dimension is 14.3315 close and we want to know about the 12 bodies modify change parameters let's change it to 12. Hit okay once again do an inspect from here how to here and we had 23.3315 so this is a very complicated one i just want to share the thinking of how i could make these bodies parametric when they're not connected and avoid errors and uh, basically be able to change it to any amount you want. We can do it to 20. Do not do it 100. It takes a critical long time to calculate sometimes. And we can go back down to four with no errors, no problem. The number of bodies will change. Uh, the name of the body is gonna go up as long as you change because it will renumber sometimes and you start to you have like body 65 and stuff like that. But that's how fusion work internally. It renames body sometimes. So with that said, that's all I wanted to share about this. Uh, if you have any nice comments, please leave them. And if you have some evil comments, please leave them. <laughs> or whatever you want. And with that said, take care. See you around. And goodbye.